with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek on the Sigma E40 blending brush, just going straight into that crease, just for our transition shade, really trying to avoid that lid. Then with a pencil brush and Mocha by Makeup Geek, just this warm toned brown shade, I'm just going straight into that crease, and then I'm going to start to flick it out in a cat-like shape. This is just the shape I am going for with this. So just kind of follow that, curve in your natural lid, and flick it out. Then with this E37 blending brush by Sigma, um, I'm going to start to blend out that line. This brush is very dense, so the bristles are very dense, so that means that it's going to really blend it out, but just ever so slightly enough to where the line will not be lost. Then I'm just taking Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek as well, just with an eyeshading eye brush straight up to my lid. After I do that, I am going to go straight back in with Mocha on that pencil brush just to redefine my crease because we're going to lose it a little bit. And I'm going to go back in with Shimma Shimma and back in with Mocha just a couple times just so that crease is very defined and the lid is very shimmery. Um, and then you're also just want to make sure everything is blended out and seamless. But yeah, this took a couple times just to make sure that everything looks nice. Then with this liquid liner by Kat Von D, I'm just taking that straight out, creating a little cat eye and a wink, whatever you'd like to call it. Now when I do this, it is going to lose a little bit of that cut crease. Um, the lid is definitely still a completely different shade than the crease, but I really wanted to extend that out. So I am going to go in with a little bit of concealer on just the tiniest little brush. Um, this is just a random brush. I came in my Mayron kit. Whatever little brush that you have, just go on top of that cat, that little wing that we just created, just to continue with that cut crease and redefine it. Then after putting on some mascara, I'm gonna buff out my lower lash line with a little bit of mocha, just so that everything is kind of the same on top and bottom, and it's not too blank underneath. And then I just took some lashes by Ardell. These are just some lash things. I think that just said one tin. <laughs> but yeah, they're just some little wispy lashes. Nothing too crazy. Didn't want my eyes too dramatic because my mouth was about to be a little crazy. And then to just do my lips really quickly, I'm just taking this color by ColourPop. I'll list it below. I want to say it's called Tutu um, or it might be Lady. Those are kind of similar. So it's one of those two. I'm pretty sure it's Tutu though. But I just did my normal lips. But we're not done, we gotta do a little cray <laughs> So I took this liquid latex by Mayron. I do have a Mayron special effects kit, um, and it just has pretty much everything in it. And this is honestly the best latex I've ever used, and I really love it. Um, but then I just had this random brush to apply my latex with. Do not use a nice brush for your latex. It will ruin your brush, that's why I'm using this crappy brush. <laughs> um, and then I'm doing this Latex kind of in the shape that I'm wanting to do on um, this Black Dahlia look. Black Dahlia is obviously a cutout smile, so that's the shape I did my latex in and I'm applying my tissue on. I did a layer of latex, then tissue, then latex, let it dry, did that again. Um, so there's two layers of tissue and always a layer of liquid latex in between. Um, make sure everything is completely dry before you start to do anything with it. Otherwise, it'll get sticky and pull off and it's just a mess. <laughs> After that though, I set up just some translucent powder just in case there's any stickiness left over. And then I took these little eyebrow scissors and began to cut out my smile. And then just with a tweezer, I'm kind of pulling out the edges just to make it look like folds of skin. Super gross. <laughs> to cover up that tissue, just took my normal foundation with the Beauty Blender and applied that straight on. There were some pieces that my Beauty Blender couldn't get to, so I just took my concealer applicator just to really get up in there. And then right inside that cut line, I'm going with just my black liquid liner. This is obviously the part that we want the darkest, and I really wanted to create depth, so obviously I picked the darkest shade there is. <laughs> and then we're going to obviously put fake blood there later, but I just wanted to kind of set the you know, get the depth going. Then I just took that bruised wheel by Mayron, took the red shade, red shade on a little bit of a, just like a little sponge, put that all over the latex area, 
and then took that darker shade straight onto the cut line. Um, like I said, we want the cut to be the darkest, and so I put the darkest shade around the actual cut. And I took this Blood by Mehron. I don't know if I'm gonna say it right, coagulated. <laughs> Basically, this blood does not move wherever you put it. So it's awesome, it's really thick and gross. So I put that straight into the cut. And then I'm just kind of going back and with my sponge with the different reds and the red and the dark shade, just adding color where I feel like there needs to be color. Adding blood where I feel like there needs to be blood. This is nothing, there's no like right way to do this. It's a cut, you know, it's a sliced lip, it's gonna look gross. But yeah, just throw in some more blood, pulled some more skin away, just kind of played with it until I felt it looked awesome. But that was pretty much it, guys. It was super easy. All right, guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this look. I definitely have said that both of my other videos. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, you can hit that like button um, just to let me know that you did like it. Also, if you do want to see some more of my videos, I know I only have a few videos up, guys, but I definitely am going to keep pumping these out. So if it's something you are interested in, you can definitely subscribe to me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. I just